Hello, welcome back, old soup eater. I'm Soup Science in Soup, where we we'll scoop into science and serve you the knowledge spoon by spoon. I've uploaded earlier the video about time travel, whether it is possible or not. And then, according to Einstein, it is not possible because you can't break the physical limits or the speed of light. But okay, let's get all the Einstein saying off the table for a while and let's imagine if I can really time travel. For example, okay. Kim, could you come here? Okay, I'm so angry with them. I want to shoot them. Okay. If they want to go to change the past, if that is possible, then let's try to do it. Time portal open. Oh, this is about one hour ago. Well, one problem. I've, I've read this book earlier in my childhood. It features an amazing point about time traveling and physical science a little bit. And the theory it said is the theory of multiverse or many universe. So what does it have to do with this? So basically, multiverse theory is the theory in which each of the prob probability we create one universe. For example, if I throw the dice in one universe, it will turn one. In another universe, it will turn two. Another universe, it will turn three. And so now you have six universe already. And after that, if you turn, if you roll the dice again, now you have 12 universe already. And do you imagine how many probability it can happen in reality. It is infinite, so that means there is infinite number of universe in the multiverse system. And what's the problem about time travel? As I step into this time frame, I started creating different scenarios. In my old universe, one hour ago, there is only one suit. But now, there is two soup. Me in the past, and me in the present time. So now, as I step into this universe, it is not the same universe anymore. I am changing the universe that is not mine. Or in other words, I am changing the history of the parallel universe. Well, and why can't why can't the, why can't this one person re-existence create so much effects? I need to talk about the butterfly effects. The butterfly effects state that if a butterfly flaps the wing in one place in, on Earth, it will cause a tornado to happen in other places on Earth. So this means if the butterfly didn't flap the wing, then the tornado wouldn't happen. As I step onto this earth, as I step on, I may have stepped on one ant, which one, those one ants may need to go to the ant's hive, and then, and then they will create so much calamity in the, in the end. And this will change the whole universe. Even though if I went to stop myself from killing my friend, then it will be a different scenario, not just different scenario, it can turn calamity. It will be a disaster. Real, real. If you step into a second reality or second universe that is not yours, there are tons of probabilities that can happen and you didn't know before time whether it is going to happen or not. And that is a very dangerous, dangerous scenario, by the way. Even if I save my friend's life, I may have killed another friend instead. Like, if I try to grab 
my own hands to stop the scenarios, my hands may just turn into another friend and shoot him instead. And then nothing is going well at all. Even though if time travel is not very possible indeed, but actually we can stay with present. As in Kung Fu Panda movie said, past is history, future is a mystery. But today, it's a gift. That's why it's called the present. So, for all of you, you don't have to change the past, but just live now the best as you can. Thank you also, Peter. Come back later where we'll serve you more science facts. Thank you.